Welcome guys, it is the Axeman here and we are back on Ark Survival Evolved with some more taming every single creature because we have nothing better to do with our lives. Yeah boy, we are back and we are on to the Dire Bear today. I, I know I've said it before, I am a little nervous. I feel like this is one of the biggest tests for Kevin today. I'm not sure how involved he's going to be because I'm a little worried and we obviously really don't want him to die. Um, but yeah, Dire Bear, which means we can add another creature up top there in the Redwood area. Because right now we've got the Deodons, but we want to whack the bears in there. Um, I don't know, other Redwood creatures. I can't remember what we have. But yeah, he's going up there today. Um, I, I'm just I'm a little worried, man. I'm just... I, I just don't want Kevin to die. We've come so far. I can't lose Kevin right now. Uh, also, we have a new addition, by the way. We have Danny the Dodo, who is my chibi. I forgot that we didn't have a chibi, so I thought we may as well go for our saviour, the Dodo God. And, um, yeah, the Dodo God provided us with Danny. Danny the Dodo. Everyone say hi to Danny the Dodo. Get a wave in the chat for him. <laughs> He's adorable. So, um, yeah, we're going to tame a... A bear. So, we've got rifle. We've got trank arrows in there. We've got the honey, because they like eating honey. But we also have Kevin. So, Kevin is really good at tranking stuff out. Um, I will attempt to kick the bear in the face a few times, but I don't want him to get too hurt. We may need to get some veggie cakes, actually. Because the Redwoods is a scary place. But, uh, yeah, before we do that, we have to do... We have to do the thing we always do. We have to get right close to Kevin. Let me get close to you, Kevin. Don't push me away. We have to get close to Kevin. You have to put your head onto his head. I'm trying my best to do that. Can, can I, like, look down? That's close enough. And say, Kevin, we love you. We appreciate you. You are the, the honestly the best horse in the whole world. I've never seen a horse better than you. And uh, please be safe today and just be strong and don't do anything stupid, okay? All right. And then we're going to give him a little kiss on his nose. Mwah. Good job, Kevin. All right. Let me go grab some veggie cakes. I feel like we've got everything else ready to do this. Uh, do I have some cryopod ball things? We do. Perfect. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's go get him. Uh, let's go get the veggie cakes, Sarah. And then we shall head off into the Redwoods. All right. Kevin, you ready? Danny, you ready? Okay, I think we are good to go. So, lucky for us, we don't have to travel too far. Oh, God, that scared me. I thought there was a random uh, gap in my fence. Um, yeah, obviously, the Redwoods is right next to us. Uh, I do get a lot of questions, by the way, um, about what map we're on. We're on Ragnarok, uh, which is a map on all platforms, consoles and whatnot. Um, yeah, I just think people don't notice it when there's, like, uh, all buildings everywhere. But, yeah, there we go, Ragnarok. All right, here we get a little bit on edge because Microraptors, Polovias, um, actually, can you make sure you are on neutral, please, Kevin? I would, uh, I would prefer maybe not to die today. All right, bears, bears, bears. So we do want two bears. We want two bears in our enclosure. That is a pink monkey man. Two bears, please. That's a Truodon. Sloth. That's, I'm guessing that's an archer. I don't really know what that was. It looked like a slash archer. Uh, more Truodons. Come on, bears. Don't get, I don't want to go too deep into here because it scares me. Um, still nothing just yet. The longer we're in the Redwoods, the more chance we've got of being pounced on and jumped on and eaten and... All the nasty stuff that we really don't want to be doing on the weekend. And this, you know, that's what you're into, I guess. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, that was close. I saw you, Mr. Plovia. I saw you there. Good job, Kevin is speedy. Or you might have got us then. Can we not be pushed down here? Yeah, you run away. Jeez. All right. Well, it looks like we're actually just fast enough now to avoid Plovias, which is amazing. Uh, hey, Diplo, you are a beautiful colour. Have you seen any bears about? Any bears around here, sir? Uh, are 
Are you a bear? Are you a red bear? You are. Well, here's my first bear. Let's go. Uh, level 54. All right, let's see if we can knock him out. Bears are very strong, so we do have to be very careful here. Also, bears don't have much health, actually. Okay, we're at kind of out of stamp. Um, are you not sleepy yet, bear? You're very blood eh? All right, he's running. He's running, which means I'm now going to shoot him in his butt now. We're going to do a mix of Kevin and me strat. I mean, look, that this was only 54, and he halved Kevin's health. Jeez. Are you okay, boy? You all right, Kevin? Danny, are you good? But you're holding on for dear life. Yeah, bears seem to have really high torpor, but really crap health. Um... Wait, compass, can we not? Can we... Compi, come here, thank you. I'm not sure why you're you're eating a bear's butt. God, he nearly died to a freaking compi. That would have been embarrassing, bear. You'd have been on camera. You'd have been all over YouTube. And people would have seen that a compi beat you up. Alright, we're all good. Kevin, have one of these. Eat, get delicious. Oh, you know what? I've still got building materials on you. Uh, we don't need them. No wonder you weren't very fast. <laughs> no wonder you weren't the speediest. Alright. He had 47 health left. Alright, you have some honey. Uh, actually, I don't know how much you actually need. Um, have that. I will be back for you soon. We need to go and find another one. We don't really care if it's male or female. Uh, we're not going to breed them. It's just, it's just for show. Um, do you want another one of these? Oh, there you go. He ate it. He ate it. Good job, Kevin. I wish there was a pet option so I could pet you in your head. No. No. Bad. Bad. Bad terror bird. Beautiful colour, but bad. Plovia. Bad. You're bad as well. All the bad stuff living in the redwoods. This is why we don't like staying in here. Boot. Boot you in your noggin. I cannot wait to tame a Plovia on this because you know they're going to be an absolute pain in the ass to find when I want them. Uh, what level are you? I'm getting tired. I'm nearly dead, though. What level is this dude, man? Of course you're a 180. Wait, stop biting me. I need to get some stamina back up. Hey, Jesus, this dude's like full of... He pushes you up mountains. Can you stop pushing me, please? How are you not tranked out? Yeah, there you go. I'm run away. God, Kevin, are you okay, Buddha? Eat one of them. All right, we'll let that dude just run off. Whew, okay, we just need to find one more bear. One more bear. And then we can get the hell out of here and build our enclosure. There we go. We found one, finally. I was going to say, we're struggling. Normally, we get pretty lucky with finding what we need straight away. Um... You know what? Uh, no, no. You know what? Maybe I don't go for the 174 because he's going to wreck my booty. I, yeah, I, I feel like we can find a lower level one because that dude is going to be strong. Like crazy strong. I'm sure we can find another one around here. Oh, I forgot beavers live up here. I forgot beavers live here. You know what? To be fair, I, I actually forget about... The nice bit of the redwoods up here. Uh, there's a plover up there. Come on, can we find another bear, please? Maybe, you know, a level 20. Maybe something like that. A 174 just seems like a terrible idea. There's one. There's a pink dude. We can go for a pink one. All right. Be under level 50, please. Eh, 102. I can live with 102. All right, I'm going to kick you a few times. And then we're going to go for the... Oh my god, he is draining my health. Okay. I am now going to go for the gun. Uh, let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move. Why, Kevin, turn! Nice. Oh, is he? Wait, are you okay? He's, uh... 
Walk in. Galley? Go die, please. You know I don't like you. Huh. Can you not run in this water? No, he can. He can. Oh, he can run. He can run in there. For some reason, he just wanted to take a little bit of a stroll a second ago. I know he's walking again. No, he's running. Okay. Kevin, please be careful. I know I'm controlling you, but please be careful. You do have your own mind. You could go different ways if you wanted to. Gally? No! Gally, move your freaking dickhead! <laughs> God damn, I hate them creatures. Titties, and then they run at you like that. God, I freaking hate Gally so much. Right, pop one of these into you. Eat that, sir. Okay, of course we're going to have some fog now. Why not? Let's make this a little more difficult. Oh, God. Oh, Kevin. Kevin, I wanted you to stop running then. This dude's still coming. Like I said, high torpor. High torpor and low health. And a bit of speed. Jesus, he they, they comes quick. <laughs> he is so speedy. What was the level of the first one? Because he was sort of... He was like relatively easy. I think we've, we've got it down there. We've got the, the technique down. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you start running now, sir. Yeah, or walk. That works. Walking's fine. I can handle walking. So we're going to have a pink and a red bear in the zoo. We have some exotic animals now. Oh my god, Gally, get out of here, man. Nobody likes you. I'm glad you are extinct. Honestly, imagine a Gallimimus in real life right now. Like, imagine an ostrich, but with no feathers. Ugh. Bad creatures, man. Bad creatures. Alright, so are we ready to, uh... we ready to go sleep? Oh, I just realised I am ice cubed. Uh, don't be running too far, because I will lose you. Okay, well, that should have hit. Um, can we not, Mr. Whatever you were? I think he was a Microraptor. Hey, come on. Come on. Let's get sleep now. There we go. In the waters. It's getting dark. It's going to be a bad time. I think we're actually good. Um, nice. Okay, uh, oxygen's not going down. Perfect. You may as well have all 27 of them. Right, so what I'll do, I'm going to wait here for this dude. Uh, we'll get him in his Pokeball. Then we'll go and grab that other one and then make it back around to our little redwood spot. And then we can start making an enclosure on him. Uh, so you're a female. I'm not sure what the first one was we got. Oh, that's a Microraptor. But there we go. That was that was pretty easy. I, I'm, You know what, Kevin? I'm so proud of you. You are such a freaking good horse. All right, we're back. Um, and I completely forgot to say it's like a few weeks ago now. I completely forgot to put a f feeding trough up here. Uh, because obviously there's only one creature up here. All my uh, original pigs actually died. So, my bad. I know everyone keeps telling me to feed the animals. All the animals in the main park are fed. Up here they were not. So, the original pigs did die. And uh, yeah, I just feel like their enclosure is so boring. I didn't really add too much in there, did I? And also, why is this glass, like, different? Why are you completely different to this glass? What happened here? Like, this enclosure seems awful. Um, can we turn these fence supports off as well? Like, I did a really bad job. I definitely need to redo that at some point. And just add some more stuff in. I know, like, they like open ground. I feel like they ate all the bushes. I feel like that was the issue. But yeah, I need to... I, I don't know, man. I need to redo it. I need to add some more shit into that. Um, but anyways, we're here with the bears. So the bears are literally going to go right next to... Well, maybe up here, actually. Um, hmm. Like the only issue with this area, it's it's not straight. It's not flat. There's a lot of... Um, yeah, there's 
very hilly. I feel like, yeah, if we maybe start here. Mm. Well, if we have it next to it, I may have like a little walkway between them. Have bears this side. Yeah, I think I may do that. Because then we can, might be able to squeeze some in up there. But yeah, let's have a look at the two bears we got. So we've got like a reddish color bear and a pinkish color bear, which are adorable. Oh, bears. Bears, why are you so cute? But so dangerous. Why were you made that way? I don't understand. Alright, well... I guess... I want a similar looking enclosure to the pigs. I'm not sure if we'll do anything too fancy with the bears. Because what I feel like we will do... I feel like we'll have some redwood tree platforms. Around here, so you'll be able to get up on top of them and look down so you'll be able to like see into the pig and the bears and um plovias and stuff like that around here so we're not gonna have like any walkways in or feeding places so yeah this i guess that's why i did like a sort of a boring looking deodon enclosure so i guess we'll probably have to do another one of them here i'll probably add one redwood tree here just so we can see how it's gonna look yeah, okay, okay, yeah, I think we'll do that, just so it doesn't look so boring. All right, uh, Kevin, let's go get some bits and bobs then, and we'll start creating some sort of enclosure. All right, uh, I will be right back then. All right, we're back. So yeah, like I said, I've done an enclosure pretty much the same as the pigs, uh, but what we do have now, which we didn't realize we had when we actually made the pig one, is we have this redwood tree planter thing. So this should help. Uh, if I pop this, like, in the back here, uh, that's not the right gun. And we need this. So this means we don't have to go and make loads of plants. Um, connect. There we go. So we can just add these trees, like, all over the place. So what I do want, I do definitely want some sort of, like, we can rotate. How do we make this bigger again? Alt. Make some big ones. Um... I want this to look sort of like, uh, you know, like, like a, a forest. I feel like the bears would like to be, you know, in a, in a forest. But obviously not too much where people are going to struggle to see. But that looks pretty decent. That looks pretty foresty without going over the top. Um, okay, uh, so we do have these little bits of trees. I don't know if I want them in here. Oh, yeah, definitely want one of these. Definitely want one of these. Um, I think like a small one just there. Perfect. Got some bushes. Because, yeah, I definitely want some more of these bushes around for the pigs. Because we had bushes in there and it looked really cool. But they ate them all. See how we've got bushes in here already? The pigs eat stuff. Because they're greedy. Because they're, they're pigs. Um, don't need them. Don't really need them. We'll add whatever these plants are. <laughs> Why the hell not? But yeah, even though Eco's tree stuff is really good. This is just so much more convenient. Because you don't have to keep going back and making stuff. However, there isn't as many like options, obviously. Um, Alright, let me have a look at that. See what that looks like from out here. Yeah, we can go redo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah. See, that looks like a little forest in there, which it should do. The pigs. It looks a little bare. There's like... It's very barren. See, I'll definitely have to do theirs at some point. Um, do we want to add... A couple of mushrooms in there, maybe. Maybe, yeah, I think I'm going to go grab a couple of mushrooms. We'll get them on Wonder. I need, I do need to put a light up here and a feeding trough. And then we can look at them then. Um, yeah, so I'll just add a few more decorations. And then we can just whack a redwood tree somewhere. Okay, perfect. Nice. I do like that. I think I've made the glass a little bit too dark, but... I can brighten that up. Okay, yeah. I, I think that's good. I like that. Then we're going to get some more stuff then. Alright, we're back. So yeah, we have this other, this weird glitch again where the fence supports come back. 
Um, sometimes they, like, disappear forever. Sometimes they just stay here. But anyways, yeah, I've added a leash in there so they can both walk around now. We've added lights on the back of the Daydons and the Bears. Um, but yeah, it just turned night on now, which is kind of perfect. So I made a couple of mushrooms and... Um, uh, what else do we make? A, a tree trunk. We've got a tree trunk that has mushrooms on it, which uh, I just like the look of. I think the pigs have one of these. But like, if we can just place that like along here, like that just adds a little decoration. So yeah, we've got the... Ooh, actually, they're really big. Ooh, I thought it was a tiner. Um, hmm. Do they fit? I don't want them up front. I want them just like at the back to maybe add a bit of color here. Let's see. Um, we also want to hide that. Uh, let's, let's see how this looks in a hot sec. Let's grab some more there. All right. May have to like gamma down in a minute and have a look. I thought they were going to be really tiny ones, but apparently they're not. I always get mixed up with what mushrooms are what. Um... I wish these. I wish these fence foundations would disappear. Hide. Uh, show, then hide. Okay, that's a bit better there. Um, all right, so if we just like gammed free. Um, I mean you, you bear, you are very bright. Uh, I guess they kind of work. I guess they do kind of work. I think they do add. I love how. Over here, we have one biome sound. Then over here, we have the redwood biome sound. <laughs> I love that. Um, all right, I might leave them in for now. We'll see. I think it might look better once this area is more decorated. And it's got more of a, a vibe going on. Because right now, it's just two random enclosures. Once we've like decorated this and added some buildings, I think this might look a little bit, bit better. All right, well, we'll leave the bears for now then. So they're just living an happy life. Um, let me go and build a redwood tree and a platform. And we'll see uh, where and how that looks. Like, I'm thinking like maybe even just here, just on this water edge might be a good idea. Because we have uh, Eco's redwood platform, which I believe... I don't know if that's better than the S plus one. I don't know. I'll have to go and find out. Let me go and play around and uh, yeah, I'll bring it back in a sec. All right, we, we're we back. So we're just in creative mode to show this off. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the final position. So I've placed a tree, and I've got the platform on the lowest like spot it can go. Um, so we can quite easily see the pigs. So you'd be able to come up here and see the pigs. Um, it's, this would work, you know, for like the otters in there, um, whatever's going to be over there, and then you'd be able to see what's going to be over there. The bear is a little obstructed because of this one tree. Uh, actually, it's two trees. And I believe, like, the pigs might be as well when we start adding a few more trees in there. Um, so maybe we might want to move this. We could all... Hmm. I don't know if we can move this further into the water and have this coming out of the water. That might, that might work a little bit better, actually. But, uh, yeah, I like the idea because I also need to find a way of getting up. I don't want to use a ladder. I like people to be able to run around instead of having to climb up and down ladders. Um, but yeah, that's the idea. So I'll play around that with that in my spare time. Uh, I do need to decorate this area a little bit because I'm not liking how it's just... Blair. <laughs> it's the only way I can describe it. I need to add, you know, some bathrooms. We need a, a Redwoods restaurant or a bar or something. Kind of like we got down with a swamp where we have the swamp bar. We need some shit like that up here. So I will spend some time... Hopefully this week getting that done. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's that's probably the best done then for now. Um, like I've said before, a lot of these uh, enclosures and stuff I will come back to and do over. Um, because we're getting better at this stuff. If you look at like the... Uh, what's it called? The Diplodocus, the Diplodocus. That's one of my favorite enclosures. And if you look at that from when we started with the Aloe, there's a huge difference in designs and stuff. So we will go back and redo some of them at some point. But uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up and call it a day there. Um, yeah, there's the bears. Oh, I should check what we have next. I believe it's the dire wolf. Yeah, I was right. So we got the dire wolf next, which 
it, that's gonna be a difficult one just because they're in packs uh, that yeah that that might be our hardest one yet the die wolf will probably be the hardest one yet then we move on to the dodo super easy uh then we have the dodicarus after that which we do have a spot picked out for him already um with the dodos i'm thinking 100 percent pet and zoo 100 percent pet and zoo for dodos like it just has to be i was thinking of just having dodos roam around but we'll, we'll get to that when it happens next up is the die wolf we need to focus on taming ourselves some pups and i'm not 100 percent sure where we're going to put the die wolves um hang on i know we're still creating my day with sweet how far away is the snow zone hmm because we are going to need a snow zone, which this is probably the perfect place because there's just so much space up here. Um, hmm. We'll have to see. I'm not I'm not too sure if that's... That might be too far away from the park. So I already feel this is really far away. But I guess once we've gone through 100 or so creatures, like, all of this area is probably going to have dinos in. Um... All right, well, you lot are going to have to let me know. Do, is that too far away? Like, if we have a bunch of creatures around here, then we can have uh, we can have another drive-in car thing going up the majority of this way. We can definitely maybe have, like, a creature or two here. But yeah, we're going to need, like, yeah, mammoths, rhinos, direwolf, managamas, UTs. I guess we're going to have to do. All right, yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> That's going to have to be a thing, I guess. That's probably going to be the stretch we reach when we're done. But, uh, yeah, anyways, if you did enjoy the video, if you're enjoying the series still, make sure you do whack a like on the video. I do really appreciate it. It does uh, help, you know, keep the support going on this series because this is going to be a very, very long series, as we all know. Um, and, yeah, if you are new, consider subscribing. And, uh, hey, new subscribers, hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, thanks for watching. I will catch you all in a bit. See you later.